Um, I'm Pina Milne and I'm the manager of the Herbarium Specimen Collections here at the National Herbarium of Victoria, the Royal Botanic Gardens, Melbourne. The collection that we have here at Melbourne is about 1.4 million in size and it encompasses not only plants of Australia but also various continents around the world. Our herbarium specimen collection is a working collection. It's a collection that's used by botanists to name or identify plants. It's also used or consulted by botanists not only in Australia but also around the world. A specimen is collected by a botanist out in the field and their aim is to actually collect what represents that specimen really well. So it, they must ensure that the leaves are represented really well, flowers, seeds, because all that information contributes to enabling a botanist to name that particular plant. When the specimen arrives in the herbarium, it is pressed and dried. It is then databased and the information that was collected during the course of collecting that specimen, when it was collected, where and by whom, all that information is entered onto the database. Once the specimen is databased, it then has to be mounted. So it comes into the mounting area. Most of the mounting is in fact fulfilled by our extraordinary volunteer team and they mount the specimen by placing the specimen on acid-free paper. Together with the specimen itself, they also add the database label and then it is ready to incorporate into the main collection. So once our information is databased on our in-house database, it's then made available to Australia's virtual herbarium, which is a website online that as long as you know the botanical name, you can put that information into that website and it'll actually give you all the records of that particular species throughout Australia. So that's one way in which we're making our information accessible. A second way is by imaging our specimens. And the National Herbarium Victoria is part of a global partnership known as the Global Plants Initiative. And we are imaging specimens and sending our specimens overseas to JSTOR, who then makes them available on the web. There are many hidden secrets within the herbarium specimen collection. A recent visitor pointed out to us that we had a collection of a particular species from South Africa that is now extinct. So we continue to add stories to the records that we have and every individual sheet has something to tell us.